wrestling fans, welcome back to FPW Championship Wrestling. I am the host and the voice of Fantasy Pro Wrestling and No Mercy Heart Pro Wrestling, Jani Badaganoush. We're going to our main feature contest, the big triple threat for the Universal Championship. I'd like to remind all of y'all about the upcoming events that are going to be happening in the beginning of 2017. First and foremost, we have our 2017 point system. We'll discuss that in a little bit, but also, ladies and gentlemen, coming up this month, January 22nd, it will be Cat Fight 2017. We're going to have a miniature tournament that will decide who will compete for the Women's Championship. Wendy Savage will defend that coveted trophy at the very, on the very same night that we have our tournament winner, any woman for themselves, in our third annual Patriot Duke's Cup Against, and it will also include the big main event for the FPW Women's Tag Team Championships. I'm talking about the Shit Disturbers, Macy LeBlanc Smith, Payne versus the Wii Fitness Gurus, Eliza Beth and Alicia. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, in the month of February, we have Devil's Feud Kick. Month, the annual February pay-per-view, Sunday, February the 19th, for our main event. Huge extravaganza right there, ladies and off the bat for the Universal Championship. Christina Chris Calloway versus Brandon Wolf, who is cashing in his rematch clause on that very night. You never know, he may actually win tonight due to, due to, due to, due to the impromptu events that have occurred last week. Huge deal, fans. And of course, our dream match number two, The Undertaker and Sting will be in action. I repeat, the man they call Sting, the Avenger of Avengers, the icon, the living legend, Sting, clad in black and white like the crow, will meet the man that's better than 10 Super Bowls, the phenom of the World Wrestling Federation slash entertainment the dead man himself the undertaker and this match will not be contested in this any other no match uh -uh. it's going to be contested in a last man standing match no pinfalls no submissions no time limits we're going to have a definite winner between the undertaker and sting it should be magnolia now fans the point system Here's how it's going to work. Five No Mercy superstars. Five FPW superstars. Ten athletes will be competing in various styles of matches. So far, the championship committee seems to be settling down with just the best two out of three falls match. And we'll see how things will go. Depending on how the mood is, I suppose, and what the fans are, are, are thinking about too, matches might change for the time being. We're letting you know now, it's best two out of three falls. We just finished watching King Matrix and Captain Obvious duke it out. And now that King Matrix earns himself ten points so far in the lead. More, more, more athletes will be competing, but in the time frame. So for the time being, all we're going to see are a series of matches between King Matrix and Captain Obvious. How they perform well will all determine off of two things the pay-per-view match in February, and of course, how many points they've obtained. Could be one or the other, either way, the end result is how many points you make. So far, Key Matrix is on the way. We will, we will, we will continue to constantly remind you all fans at home watching this on the Video Game Wrestling Network on Facebook how exactly the point system is going to work. For those of you who were caught it, for those of you who understand what I'm trying to say, to explain the best I can. I'm speaking on behalf of the entire championship committee. Okay? So that's a lot of people right there. I'm just one of them. So I'm, to, I'm doing the best that I can to explain to you how it's going to work. There will be postings on the Facebook channel for those of you to actually understand how it's going to work. And I'm sure all you fans are able to figure this out. If not, talk to your friends. Most of the people who are watching these are actually major fans of creative wrestling. So I don't have a problem with you guys. But for the newcomers, that's how it's going to work. So next week in this broadcast, next week 
we're gonna have our second match of King Matrix and Captain Obvious until Devil's Food Cake will air on Sunday, February 19th. For now, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I gotta say about that. Let's go down the ringside for our main event, Triple Threat. One fall to a finish for the FPW Universal Championship. That's Christina Calloway defending that title against Brandon Wolf and Kevin Jackson Jr. Let's check this out, fans. And here we go. The big match, ladies and gentlemen, our rematch from Blood, Sweat, and Tears 2016. Christina, Chris Calloway, Brandon Wolf, and Kenan Jackson Jr. One fall to a finish. Hell of a night it has been, ladies and gentlemen, here on Championship Wrestling. A lot has a lot has been done tonight. And that's what we that's what we want to see in Championship Wrestling. Things getting done. And I'm telling you right now, of our shows, this beats the cake, man. This, this has been a lot better than what Tuesday Night Bomb used to be. Remember that? Tuesday Night Bomb? Way back in the day? Oh! There was no way out for Christina on that, on that end right there. Big face jam. Oh, Northern Knight suplex with the bridge. I can tell right now, folks, this is going to be one of those matches you got to really pay attention to. Christina has her championship title on the line. It's not even a pay-per-view. However, this was, this was at one point a pay-per-view match, and that was our big main event. Now you get to see it here on a Thursday night, January the 12th. We can get ourselves a new champion here tonight, fans. Very nice dodge from Christina. There's gonna be a lot of countering fans in this match. I can feel it right now. It's gonna be the most confusing thing on earth. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, roundhouse kick completely took down Christina off of the apron. She can't. She cannot reach the the opponents. Oh my God! New champion at any moment now, fans. Ah, oh. there could be. I'm not saying there will be, but Christina has to get back up to code here. Three, four. She can't five. reach. We have seen a lot of triple threat matches, four corner matches in our time here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling where wrestlers were trying to screw other wrestlers out of the match. It's a very smart tactic, I'll tell you that much. But Vicious Jr. was the man behind that all. He was the one that 
used to do that a lot. 